Hello guys, what is up? So today we're taking a deeper look into my peripherals, um, seeing what my PC runs. Um, yeah, taking a look into my personal settings, mouse settings. So let's dive in. Okay guys, so you'll have to bear with me because I've got quite a small room, so it's going to look a little bit cramped in here. But first of all, we've got my posters, Destiny 2, Call of Duty, World War 2. I did get these whilst the games were new out, to be honest, so I've, I've got to update them, in all honesty. Um, but I do really like the World War II cover art, so I have decided to keep that. Next, we have what I like to call my tech shelves. It's just where I keep my boxes to all my tech. I uh, like to display them as well. It's a nice little touch, I think, for my room. So as you can see, we've got the Razor Basilisk. Got the Black Widow lights, the Man of War, Kraken lights, all sorts on here, guys. Uh, parts to my PC as well, like the i7-7700K, uh, HyperX Cloud earbuds, my motherboard. Uh, yeah, RAM, mouse pads, as you can see. Okay, guys, so we've got the Razer Black Widow light Mercury edition as shown in the introduction. Uh, mechanical keyboard, nice white backlight as well. You can't see it very well in the daylight, but it's great at night. Uh, yeah, what I didn't show, guys, was my headset in the introduction. So we're going to show that today. Um, and that is the Razer Man of War 7.1 wireless gaming headset. Um, I have owned all sorts of headphones, to be honest, gaming headphones. Uh, Astro A50s, A40s, all sorts, like I say. But these have got to be the most comfortable pair of headsets i've worn to be honest with you um if i do switch it on as well bear with me but um if i do switch it on it has a nice little rgb light as well uh which changes color uh nice little feature i think but they recommend that if you want longer battery life you do turn the light off in programs such as razor synapse um, okay guys, so moving on, we've got the Razer Basilisk Mercury Edition gaming mouse, up to 16,000 DPI with a 5G sensor. Um, I find it really good for FPS games to be honest, and I do use a DPI of 800. Um, yeah, I find that great on games like Modern Warfare. Uh, I do play a lot of Warzone as you've seen in the videos. Um, and my gaming mouse pad... Um, my mouse pad is a glorious PC gaming race, extra large extended, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, it's perfect. You can fit all, you can fit your keyboard and mouse on. You've got plenty of room to work with your mouse as well. Uh, I found it really useful. And then, guys, we've got my monitor shown in the introduction, Samsung 32-inch curved. Um, it's only 60 hertz, to be honest, like I say in the introduction. But, oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. But, um... It's perfect for gaming for me anyway. I only need 60 hertz because most of my games I just run at 60 frames anyway. And you've got my games here. Modern Warfare, Battlefield 5, Valorant, Halo, Master Chief Collection, Fortnite, FIFA 20, GTA 5. Them are my main games to be honest when I play. Uh, got Vegas Pro down there for me editing. Uh, Razer Mercury wallpaper as well to go with the setup. Perfect for me. Uh, got my desk plant to either side as well. Okay guys, so to finish the video, we're just going to have a quick summary of what's running in my PC. So my CPU is an Intel i7-7700K 4.2. Uh, GPU is an NVIDIA GeForce Titan. I think it's the 2013 edition to be honest, 12GB, but it does really well in the new games. Um, RAM 16GB, Corsair Vengeance DDR4. Um, motherboard, I've got an MSI Z270 Gaming M3 as shown on the tech shelves. Um, and yeah, it, it runs pretty smooth to be honest, guys. It runs all the new games really well. I uh, don't have any issues with running on high or ultra settings to be honest. Um, so yeah, that's about it for today's video, guys. And thanks ever so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.